Everybody come to you with their problems, but you can't go to nobody. Like that's 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 some fucked up shit. I was going through that for so long. How would everybody feel if I wasn't here? What would everybody do if I wasn't here? Believe in myself. That's the biggest thing in boxing. You know, I say it's ninety six percent mental. It's all mental. This is all mental. Sitting in my my room, my wife's grand Cherokee. I had a hose in one end. I was sitting there. I was just crying. I was just crying. I, I didn't just want to die, Brian. I just wanted something to put around me and say, you know what? You're going to be all right. And I, I'd have, I've had suicidal thoughts since around about 2012. And then I started thinking about death and thinking about wanting to die and killing myself and I won't do it. I often thought about that. I cared about a stinking boxing match when I got money, I got cars. I said I could, re I could retire now and die. Die! couldn't fight it. It just started to dominate my conversation. I realized I was about to die in a dirty old dress room with all those homes I had. If I wish one of your guys had children so I could kick them in their fucking head or stomp on their testicles so you could feel my pain because that's the pain I had for waking up every day. I figured I'd been betrayed by my managers. I'd been given things in my water, the ropes were loose. I had all the kind of excuses that filled me with hatred and revenge. I felt like I'd lost everything. I'd lost myself as a man. What the fuck? But then I was thinking like, man, if I do this, it'd be selfish because I got kids that, you know, I got kids. They don't, they don't deserve that. Adrian Broner was pretending, right? He was thinking about killing himself not that long ago. If you would have followed through, people would have wished or tried, people who give a damn or people of empathy would have wondered how it could have been avoided or prevent it. Edwin Valero, we always talk about how great of a fighter he was. He killed his wife. He stabbed her over 20 times in the chest and then he hung himself. Um, I showed Randy Turpin at the beginning. That's who was in black and white. The one who beat Sugar Ray Robinson in the UK and then Sugar Ray Robinson knocked him out um, in their rematch. Randy Turpin shot his 17 month old baby almost killed her and then put a the gun in his mouth and shot himself you don't know what's going on with these fighters man. feel me so i humble myself and say that's what you're going through brother handle that i'm just watching a damn fight i watch anybody fight you handle that that's number one. Number two, it is always people unlike you talking about your experience. <laughs> right? Talking about your damn experience. They're not you, but they want they want to speak on your experience. Shut the hell up. That's what I do. That's why I don't talk about people's personal lives. That's why I can't sit there and say if he's mentally healthy or mentally unhealthy. I am not him. Who the hell am I to say that I know about his experience? I don't. See, we do this too much. It's always people with money speaking on people's, the uh, a poor person's experience. Say, hey, look, all of your financial issues is due to money mismanagement as if there's no psychological issues going on there. As if mismanaging your money isn't something that you do temporarily to help how you feel inside. Hell, I know buying these Jordans isn't smart financially, but I need a damn win somewhere. It's always what? People who are straight speaking on the gay experience. People who are totally fine about who they are as far as their gender speaking on transgender. It happens with race. Always white people speaking on black, black experience. It's always now it's black people speaking on a white experience. You're privileged. That's why. And here we are again. The mentally strong. The mentally healthy. Speaking on and criticizing those who are claiming to be mentally unhealthy. Just fight through it. Let me tell you something about your brain. Your brain is a muscle. And just like any muscle, if it breaks, the resolution 
isn't to just push through it. If you tear your shoulder, if you tear your knees, if you tear your biceps, don't just go pumping to try to make it stronger. No, it needs rest. It needs to heal. If your brain breaks, it needs to heal. It needs rest. Man, who am I to tell you to push through it? Everybody's different. The same shit that works for me may not work for you. I go here every day on my podcast, spreading as much light as I can. I love you, boy.